talks dear shareholders i welcome you all to this ninth general meeting of the company the annual report has been with you for some weeks and you will have noticed with some satisfaction that your company has performed remarkably well despite the adverse market and economic conditions the year was characterized by continuing recession in several segments of indian industry particularly consumer durables we estimate that the sale of watches by the four key indian producers declined to a certain extent in contrast our watches were in good condition but the sales in the last four months of the year were affected by social and political disturbances in many urban centers the country needs to ponder the economic consequences of political conflict which has hampered the country's economic revival and diminished its ability to move ahead of other developing countries the consumer sentiment which is an important factor in the sale of consumer durables remained low throughout the year because of political uncertainties the erosion of assets on the stock exchanges restricted money supply the high rates of interest also were responsible for lower sales competition was the fierce throughout the year profit was also affected by inflation high interest payments sharply higher wages and increased excise duties inflation is not a serious worry for the current year barring the price of gold following a wage settlement with the representatives of employees it is expected that the per capita wage costs are expected to rise only marginally in the current year the company's rights issue will ease the pressure of interest rates if the excise duty increase had not taken place the profit for the year would have doubled because of highly competitive conditions the company had to adopt a cautious approach to price increases we now believe that we were more cautious than warranted and have therefore taken remedial action in the first quarter of this year which should certainly reflect in the profit performance of the next year shareholders will be happy to know that your company has performed very well in the first quarter of the current year we are looking forward with renewed confidence to a bright and a rewarding year greater focus is being placed on customer service there are now over 9 million watches of our company in use it is our belief that when a customer walks into a shop to service our watch there are in fact three types of repairs which need to be effected repairing the watch repairing the feelings of the customer and repairing the damage done to the company's image attention therefore has to be given to the physical environment in which the customer is received the manner in which he or she is dealt with by the service personnel speed and quality of the repair service and the charges for repairs are also important we believe that the servicing of your watch should be treated as an opportunity to strengthen the bonds between the brand and its user another great opportunity awaits your company in the area of fine jewelry the world's biggest buyers are turning to asian suppliers in search of lower prices and higher volumes india has a large pool of human resources equipped with the requisite skills and available at a fraction of the cost of counterparts in developed countries it is this opportunity that we want to seize bringing to the task the many skills which we have acquired 
in the business of making and selling watches next year is expected to be crucially important for companies development my dear prime minister i address you for the second time so soon after the first because the statement about the situation in india made in parliament by the secretary of state indicate a degree of complacency on his part which to one on this part seems scarcely justified my duty as privy councillor also constrains me to place my views before you although those views are no better than misgivings and apprehensions a friend of mine assures me that he is writing to the secretary of state much to the same effect and that is why i refrain from spending him the enclosed document and comments upon it the document is an account of the doings of the police in my district which is signed by well known citizens i can vouch personally for the character and high standing in public life of many of them if a public enquiry is refused and the government deny the facts in the legislative council the likelihood is that 9 out of 10 intelligent persons would believe the version of the signatories without hesitation i do not forget the difficulty of those that have to keep order non violent civil disobedience is a novel method of agitation and the public sympathy and attention which the agitators obtain put the authorities in an awkward position but there are remedies the one that the government have chosen is open to the gravest objections